So the next version will be 3.1.0. The roadmap has been released. And here it is on screen. We're going to read a little bit of this. A lot of bug fixes, new extensions, new fonts, mostly ready for the next official release. There's a link for upcoming. We'll take a look, quick look at that. Here's some of the new fonts that are coming. I will post both of these that I'm showing you right now in the description below. And again, some of the fonts. I don't think I previewed that one before. I got all the rest of them though. So here's your new fonts. Very nice looking fonts. The cats is cute. Oh, come on. That's just cool. Chicken Little. Love it. Love it. So there's that. Um, here's what they still need to do. Fix and add proportional pull compensation. Proportional. I wonder if that means you can set the fabric that you're going to be using. I'm not sure. Fix windows builds. Already checked. Revisit randomization options. Test if signing Windows and Mac OS. Notarization Mac OS is still working. Um, I might file a bug on this because on the RPM version of OpenSUSE, I do get a unsigned error. I'll see if that's something they can take a look at. Run tests with the upcoming Inkscape version. Specific, especially select embroidery elements. Realistic stitch plan preview. So the realistic stitch has moved. I'll show you that. If you didn't see it in the last video, I'll show you that too. I'm going to design a hat in this video uh, specific to this development version with a multicolor satin. That's really cool. Release a beta ver release version, sort of. And that's, they don't really release a beta, but. Everything that they build is testable. Like I'm running the development version right now. So I think that's what that sort of means. Fix reported bugs. Proofread website. Release 3.1.0. Announce it on the website. Remove the upcoming version hints. So some of the discussion here is, most of the discussion here is about the realistic preview being moved and different. And, and you can look through this. I have posted here. Gus Visor has posted here. Um, my comment is I would prefer for the, I guess is the takeaway that we need to have a realistic preview back in the simulator. That could probably be arranged. My reply to that is I'd prefer that myself. It's a little cumbersome going through the menus, and yeah, you can put a shortcut key and all that. I know. I still haven't never done that. Um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people saying they no longer have a realistic preview just because they don't know that it has moved. Gus and I and others, all, all of the content creators and out there and helpers, will all do the best we can to spread the word. Personally, I'd prefer it back in the simulator just because it's a quick one button toggle click. However, having said that, I also like the realistic preview now offers options of realism. And once we get used to the new location, I think it'll be fine over time. It'll grow on us and humans characteristically don't like change. So I think that's part of it. That, honestly, that could be a big part of it. If it had been there where it is now all along, no problem. I'm a little torn on this. I do like the app, the options of a different realistic preview. Having that option, that's pretty cool. Here's your roadmap. I will have the link to this and the, the upcoming link both in the description below. By all means, come here and comment if you have some interesting take, something to add to the conversation. Don't come in here yelling. Do not. These people are volunteers. They're all great people. Any interaction that I've had with any of them, they're all lovely group of people. Be nice. Coming from a grumpy old man. Be nice. All right. So there is that. Next version's coming. They have it. It's coming. It's soon. It's it's like Christmas. This is me. And, and 
best of us for the rest of us. But either way, yay. Okay. So I'm going to do a hat. Uh, where's my templates? New from template. That's what I want. Scroll down. Uh, is it still here? Oh, custom. That's what I need. Hats. There we go. Create from template. There we go. So what I'm going to do on this hat, this is going to be something that I'm going to make hats, give them to the girls. We'll sell them in our store, sell them on our website, all that good stuff. And it's really going to be a pretty simple design, but it's going to showcase some of Ink Stitch's potential. Uh, what have I got here? I've got Ansorif, I guess. We'll go bold. Yeah, that should work. Let's go all caps USA. And once I've done that, I need to go path, object to path, and then I'm going to go path, path effects, and I want that to be just a little bit fatter than it already is, which is offset. So we'll make that a little bit fatter than it already is something like that I'll, once again i'll go object to path now i'll go extensions ink stitch tools fill break apart fill objects hit apply now i can work with each one individually and we'll go with the u actually we'll select all of them um no i won't because i want each one of these to have a different fill stitch so the first one, and this is going to also be red, white, and blue. So I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to select that first one and go red. I'll go gray. So I won't be able to see white and blue. Awesome. Extensions, ink stitch, params. In the params, I'm going to go to fill underlay. I'm going to turn off the underlay and the underpath. Now I have auto fill. I'm going to change that to a contour. So my first one with the USA is going to be this contour, which I think is really neat. Hit apply and quit. My second one, go to extensions, ink stitch params. On this one, I'm going to go with a um, contour fill. And I also have to uncheck the underlay and underpath. Oh, like that. Where'd my underpath go? I guess I don't have one. Yep, that works. And I do want some of the hat to show through to really emphasize the the neat design that this has. So I want some of the under color of the hat to show through. So I'm not going to tighten this up any. Uh, inner to outer is fine. Clockwise doesn't matter too much. And I think the rest of that's all good. So apply and quit. And then we're going to go into the A. We're going to do something else. Rams. Go to fill underlay and uncheck that. Under path, uncheck that. And circular fill. That's, I think that's what I wanted. What did I do? I don't remember what I did. I'll have to look at it. We're going to go with circular fill on this one. Hit apply and quit. And I want to see what we have. So I'll select all of them. And then I'll hit params again. I did that one twice, didn't I? Okay. We'll change the S to something else. Extensions, ink stitch, params. I think I did that twice. There was another option that I wanted to do, but it's not working. And the other option was... Uh, what was that? Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'll do the meander fill. Let's do that. And I need to set that meander scale down to about 
I think that looks good. Hit apply and quit. Now let's look at all of it again. And we can go to visualize and export simulator. No simulator no longer says realistic. That menu has moved. I'll show you that just shortly. I'm going to tighten that meander up a little bit. All right, extensions, ink stitch params. Let's tighten that up a little bit. And uh, and to tighten that up, all you have to do is lower the percentage. So let's see what 15% looks like. All right, I believe that looks better. And once again, we'll look at it all. Pitch. Simulate. Yeah, maybe. So let's go ahead and see what the realistic looks like. And I'll show you that. It's in, uh, it's under visualize and it's in stitch plan preview. I had to think of that. So options, render mode, realistic. And you have this, which I'm not going to change. Hit apply. Hit close. I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to hide. Stitch layer. And I'm showing the realistic. I actually think I'm going to separate the stitches a little bit in the other two. Yeah, I believe I will. So I'm going to delete that stitch plan. I'm going to select these two. And extensions, ink stitch, params. And the way you would do that is um, spacing between rows. We will increase that to 0.35. Get apply and quit. And I think that should be pretty good. Extensions, ink stitch. Um, visualize and pitch plan preview. Realistic also has a high a high quality realistic, and we'll take a look at that and see what that does. It does take a little longer to render because it's theoretically more realistic. Hit close. I'm gonna hide my stitch layer. That's a little more of what I was after. I think I'm going to do a little more. Do a little more. Why not? Go back into params. Facing between rows, we're going to set to 0.45. I don't really want to go any more than that. Hit apply and quit. Now, I'm going to take all three of these and duplicate on that duplicate i'm going to turn off fill make a stroke make that black's fine it doesn't matter yet go a stroke of at least nope um go with go with two and then extensions ink stitch Satin, convert line to satin. Now, one thing about the development version that is going to be version 3.1.0 is the convert line to satin stitch works a lot better. It's really good. It's not flawless. You can see right here, but it works really good. So I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. That one. And do. I'm going to turn that one up like that. 
I'm going to get rid of one of these. And we're going to turn that one up like that. And we'll have to see what the center is doing because that doesn't look right. And then the same thing here. Lean into that a little bit, a little bit sooner. I didn't do that the right way. Okay, now we're leaning into that a little sooner. This A, I really want to look at that A because it doesn't look, center doesn't look quite. The outer looks really good. There is no center. Okay, there's the center. It's both of them together. I got gotcha. you. Do that again. No, this looks fine. We'll have to see how it stitches out, but on the pre on the uh, simulate, it looks pretty. Good. Okay, we're good. Now, now, let's do the U. Since the U is red, I want the satin stitch multicolor to be white and blue. Since the S is white, I want the satin stitch of the Multicolor satin stitch of the S to be red and blue. You get the idea. So I'm going to go into extensions, ink stitch, full satin, multicolor satin. And we're going to add a color. We're going to change the first color to white, to a slight off white. So it's easier to see. And then on the other color, we're going to do blue. And we're going to do some overflow um, left and right. And I think I'm doing that right. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think to get them to overlap a little bit more, I think that's what that overflow is. See what happens if you go negative. There is no negative. Oh. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with center. So it's more like a pole comp. That looks pretty neat. <laughs> I like it. All right, we're going to use that. Maybe. Uh, okay, maybe not. I still like it. I'm going to use that in a design somewhere. 100%. Hit apply. Now we might be able to... Okay, so my original satin is still there. I need to remove that original satin in order to have this satin be over it. And then I have two satin paths. And you could actually change the colors on both of those. If you look down here at the bottom left, you get my... Okay, if you look down here at the bottom left, and you can see the, the color right here. Okay. So what does it do if I select that and go into param? Uh, we have, there is pull comp. I would like to give a little pull comp. Let's go with, uh, let's go with point two on the pull comp. If I do a center walk, is it going to be each one individual, or is it going to count it one, all as one? Yeah, oh, that's interesting. I uncheck that and do a contour. What's that do? That's actually more of a center than the center does. 
I don't want the white, I don't want the blue stripe going over the top of that. So that's not, that's out. Uncheck that. Let's go back to center walk. Maybe. So, okay. So that one is more or less technically done. Then we'll move on to the next one. So this one's white, so multicolor satin is going to be red and blue. Extensions, ink stitch. Dual satin, multicolor satin. So same thing, we're going to add, we're going to do a red, select, blue, select. Awesome. You'll we'll hit apply. And... We will need to get rid of that one. And now we're working on that one. So we'll go back into ink stitch params. The pull comp does pull the stitches over each other to some degree. So that's good to know. We'll go back in here and do center walk just like the other one. And we'll apply and quit. And one more. Extensions ink stitch. Tool satin. Multicolor satin. We will add. This one's going to be red. And white. Okay. Hit apply. We'll need to delete the. Oh, forgot about that one. There. Yeah, I don't know if that one's going to give us a good one or not. Multicolor satin, we'll try it. Same thing, red, select. I could do the opposite. Add white. Hit apply. That one I'm concerned about. But Okay, so delete that one and delete that one. Should have. Okay, both of those. We should be able to set the params on those two together. Oops. Okay, with a pull comp point two. And a center walk underlay. That one concerns me. That's a little tight. We'll check it out though. We'll see. Might be all right. And I think that's the only thing I did, ain't it? We'll go in there. We'll go back into the first one and check it. Cause I don't think, I don't think that those split stitch, split satin stitch is having any effect. Alrighty, apply and quit. So we have that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet on changing colors and 15 needle machine is gonna change all these colors just fine. But if I was on a if I was on a single needle, this would drive me insane. Alright, so let's do stitch plan preview. Realistic, I'm gonna go with just realistic. Bye realistic. Save a little time. Close. Oh my, that looks pretty good. That really looks pretty good. And we're gonna hide what's behind it. Like it. Hmm, I like it a lot. I will stitch this out sometime in the next few days. I will post this stitch out on my Facebook, Low Tech Linux Facebook page, and also on my website, lowtechlinux.com. So I really don't say this probably often as I should, and sometimes it annoys me when I hear it too much in videos that I'm watching, but if you like what I do here, please like it. 
you want to see more, please subscribe. I'm going to have links in the description of this particular video. And if you want to donate a little bit of money to me for me to get a coffee, what have you, I'm going to have a couple of links for PayPal and Venmo in the description down below. If that's something you feel like doing, not a problem. I'm not doing this to get rich. I do, I'm doing this because I enjoy it, but yeah, money's always a good thing, right? So, and there is that. Anyway, that's all for this video. Can't wait for the actual full release. And the development version looks great. Anyway, that's, that's it for this video. And like always, thanks for watching.